In this video, I'm going to go ahead and continue the series on finding the exact values for some trig functions here. And we're going to take a look at the sine of 66 degrees in this video. And we're going to find the sine of 66 degrees by using the uh, sum identity for sine, which says that the sine of two angles here, A and B, when I add them, it will have this expansion, the sine of A, which is that first angle, times the cosine of B, which is the second angle, plus the sine of B times the cosine of A. So we need to go ahead and come up with two angles that are nice angles to work with that add up to 66 degrees. So let's go ahead and use 36 degrees and 30 degrees. And those are really nice to work with. And of course, 36 plus 30 does add up to 66. So let's go ahead and write this expansion. So it'll be the sine of 36 degrees times the cosine of 30 degrees plus the sine of 30 degrees times the cosine of that 36 degrees. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and put some values in here and see what this looks like. Well, the sine of 36 degrees is one of these two values up here. And so the sine of 36 and the sine of 54 I have included here. And these two values were found in previous videos. And they were found from scratch, from uh, writing and solving equations of the polynomial kind, and then uh, taking their roots as the exact values here. So these videos are really worth watching. They're interesting, probably a lot more interesting than this video since we're just throwing values into an identity here. Uh, I've linked to these two videos down below in the description for this video so you can find them there. So I'm going to go ahead and use that first one, the sine of 36 degrees, and that's the square root of 2 over 4 multiplied by this uh, radical expression here. And to that we're going to multiply by cosine of 30, which is the square root of 3 over 2. And then we're going to add to that the sine of 30, which is 1 half and multiply that by, well, the cosine of 36 degrees. But uh, sine and cosine have a really nice relationship where the cosine of one angle and the sine of the complement of that angle are the same values. So, of course, 36 and 54 are complementary angles since they add up to 90 degrees. And so I can go ahead and exchange the cosine of 36 for the sine of 54. And I would do that simply because I've already done the video for this and I have this exact value. So let's go ahead and make that exchange. And we'll say it's going to be this guy right here. Okay, so at this point it's just kind of time to clean this up a little bit. So it looks like I can take this fraction and this fraction out front and go ahead and multiply those together. So it looks like I should have the square root of 6 over 8. And of course, I'll multiply that by that radical expression. And then to that, I'll add, and it looks like a half times a fourth will make an eighth, and multiply that by that square root of 5 plus 1. Okay, so this uh, expression is not too bad at all. And we're saying that this uh, is the exact value for the sine of 66 degrees. So let's go ahead and grab a calculator and kind of just ensure that indeed it works. Okay, here's our calculator that we're going to use. So let's go ahead and do the inverse sine here for this value. It looks like to start off with we have the square root of 6 divided by 8. And we're going to multiply that by this uh, radical expression. Let's jump out of there and we're going to add to that 1 8 times the square root of 5 plus 1. And we'll close up all those parentheses and we get, yeah, 66 degrees. So we can see then that uh, what we've done here and what we've worked out is indeed the exact value for the sine of 66 degrees. And we did so using the sum identity for sine. And we also did so by employing a couple of other values for sine that maybe we weren't quite sure what they were, but uh, we worked them out in previous videos. And again, those links are down below in the description for this video, so you can find them there. And these are probably much more interesting to watch. But uh, here's that exact value for the sine of 66 degrees.